Okay, hello dear friends. So, I will do a makeup. And uh, one friend asked me about my makeup collection. So, at the same time, I will explain my makeup collection. So this one is uh, later. I tell you. Let me finish my finish working on it first. This is the eye shade, three color. Ah, and this is the three color eye shade and I almost finished it. Always use one color more than the other. If you buy, you know that you always have something used more in quantity than the others. This is the case here. So this one is the eye shade, if you can see. Are we in the right zoom? I think we are in the right zoom. And three colors, one, two, three. Darker, medium, and, uh, and lighter. And I use this one. Sometimes I use uh, um, a pencil, but, uh, but um, not so necessary. So I will use this one. So for the eyeliner, I use the darker part and also use the shade, use the darker part. So it's, a, it's almost a finishing. Now I use this lighter color in the medium, in the middle. Lighter color in the middle. And then the lightest color at the end. That's it. This is the eyeshadow. Are we in the right zoom? Should be. Okay, and um, <clears throat> that's about it. And this one, uh, I use this uh, mascara my family bought me. And uh, I think this is the only one men can buy for women because uh, 
you just tell by a black one. Whichever shape does not make that much difference. But if lipstick, you have a, a peculiar sense of color. So oftentimes, your man bought me is not the right color. And it can be very dangerous. When the person bought not the right thing, it's a very, very awkward situation. You want to keep it, but you really do not like it. You want to throw it away, then you are afraid of hurting other people. So the best thing is ask him not to buy, or not ask him to buy. Lipstick and uh, face powder, because we all have a particular color, and the man can never figure it out. Other people can never figure it out, right? We want a medium beige or medium tan, sun tan, the medium tan, fire tan, whichever color. And we need the color of uh, uh, the lipstick color is uh, cherry or, or raisin or whichever color. They will never figure it out. It's more than a, than a master degree for a man to, to, to understand. Right, and this one you, you you can find it in the. I think this is my makeup collection, and that's all. And the only thing I have a little bit more. Yeah, not disappointing less. Well, already quite less. Is the lipstick. Lipsticks. I have this color, I have bought it many years and never finish it, never finishing it. So the lesson learned from these kind of lipsticks is that you buy the lipstick that is just right for you. Don't buy it because it's cheap. Don't buy it because uh, it makes you momentarily happy. You will end up enduring long time. So I keep that lesson. I kept that lesson, didn't throw it away. And this is a lipstick I buy. And uh, this one is a little bit too red. I usually combine with another color. Another lipstick I bought. This one is too cheap. It's $5. And this one is $2. Still too cheap. You really cannot resist, right? When you have something $2 each, and um, whatever way, you, you just cannot resist. Or even if you have a, a heart of gold, heart of uh, iron steel, you cannot resist, resist a $2 lipstick. This is the fact. You just got to know it. This one, and uh, and here is another one, Victoria's Secret. I bought it a long time ago, and uh, not really have a chance to use it. I, I liked it. I really liked it, but uh, I liked it, but not uh, not so much now because I've changed into using um, lip um, moisturizer, those kind, which much with much lighter color, and this one is too shiny. So it's, a, it's just a backup. Sometimes you put all your lipstick in the car, in your backpack, in your purse, in your pocket, and then you have nothing left. There is still a couple of it left over, left here, you can use. So. Here is another one I bought in German uh, airport. I went from Paris to Beijing to Dusseldorf and then Dusseldorf or Frankfurt. Beijing, Frankfurt and Paris. So nothing to do in the airport. I bought this one. I liked it at that moment. But still now I do not use very much of lipsticks. I like use uh, lip color, lip um, 
uh, chapstick kind of uh, tinted chapstick. So this one is not used very often, but still it's a good backup. So that's about it all. I have one a couple of uh, lipstick and the uh, majority is not fit or not exactly fit and uh, I still have a couple of more lipsticks so really comparing with the, the, the avid lipstick users or the makeup artist, this is nothing I know. But still if you want to see, I, I think uh, this will keep forever because I do not use them very much. The one I use very much is in my backpack, is in my purse. So it's, um, and maybe I will do another video to show you that one. So. <clears throat> And the eye shade, I use this one. One is enough, more than sufficient. Yeah, in the worst case, you need only one color actually. Only one color, that is good enough already. And all the rest is, uh, is a supplement. It's, it's nice to have, not must have. And I use um, a powder, this one, only one color. And one is enough and sufficient. It's the it's my natural color. I had another one, same brand, a lighter color. So I have used one time. To, I finished it and then not using it. Just choose the right thing for you. And uh, our life is not spectacular. And we are not always on stage. Choose something that is good for you for everyday use. You will use it all the time, every day. That is sufficient. Get a couple of different things, fancy things, for one or two times go to a party or something. That's it. And um, <clears throat> when we are married, woman, we are married, we do not need too much fancy things to attract people. You know, right? Yeah, we do not need those things. We, we just need something that make us in happy spirit, in good mood, in good spirit, and looks, uh, uh, looks as good as we are, not too much exaggerating. Yes. And exaggeration is for special purpose, and we do not need those special purpose, you know. You know, right? So, yes, so we are good like this. And um, I think that's about it. And also, sometimes I bought, because it's fancy, I bought some of these and that things and never used. And, uh, and uh, lip liner, yes. One time interested and, um, and you know that uh, it will not make me bankrupt, right? It will not broke, make me broke with one extra supply, uh, extra buying of uh, a lipstick, five dollar. We can afford it. We can make us at that particular moment happy. That is important and keep doing that. And uh, that's my show, yes. The good thing and the, the very spectacular show is this one because it is 99 cents and you can live with it. Maybe not you. I can live with it happily. I am cheap. Or maybe in another way. When a person is rich, this person is rich. No cheapsy can make this person cheap because this person itself is rich. When something is rich, you do not need to add up more richness onto it. It's rich enough. And when a person is cheap, whatever thing you put, 
you need to put a lot of expensive things on that to make that cheap thing become expensive, to cover up the cheapness. That's a very mean philosophy. I'm sorry. That's the truth of life. I'm sorry. Frank, up on your face. And another thing, why I wear colorful clothes. When a person is playing, this person needs colorful things to lighten up. When a person is colorful inside, it does not need anything. This person does not need anything colorful. Do I make sense? Young people wear black, gray, white. When you get old, you lost that privilege. Because you are old, you need colorful things to balance, to make it just right. The perfection, there is no perfection. There is just at that moment, at that point, everything fit into exactly that moment, that point, that nail it. It is just right. Thank you very much. I'm sorry for your time. Bye bye friends. Let me cut it short. No more show. Bye bye. See you later, alligator. Don't forget the toilet paper. Yes, we have.